Hey there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me for your reading for the new moon, the 13th of March through the full moon, the 28th of March. And I will be doing another set of readings for the full moon, but this takes us right up to there. So new moon to full moon. I am going to be doing a, um, a very unique type of reading today with four different decks three oracle, one tarot, but because I've gotten so deep into readings lately, um, epic readings, deep dive readings, this one is going to be very targeted and much shorter for you. So again, thank you for being here. So the first deck we're going to use is the Moonology deck, then we're going to get into sacred geometry, and then archetypes. With the archetypes deck, we're just using the cards of the self. So the deck is usually about that thick and we're just getting into a piece of it, just the self. So this will be the part or aspects, the archetype, archetypal self of us um, in this reading that is the, the aspect that needs the most attention during this time. That's really gonna, um, something to pay attention to um, about ourselves. And then with the tarot, we're just working with the uh, major arcana, which in this tarot deck is the archangels. So we'll get that. Um, we'll get that one coming in last. And what we're starting with is Moonology. So again, thank you for being here, Scorpio. So good to have you. Um, and if you're not familiar with me, if you're new to my channel, I'm Infinity, I, uh, medical medium, psychic, physical empath, uh, soul and ascension guide, shaman and mystic, astral projection, um, meditation guide, channeler, medium, psychic, all that good stuff. So, um, I do have a website. It is thehealingbutterfly.org where you can see what I can offer you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I do private reads, moderate and deep energy work. I work with people, animals, children all over the world. So I encourage you to take a look. I have a podcast with lots of information, meditations on there, as well as here on this channel and um, eBooks on my and lots of information on my website about um, energy light workers empaths um, chakras all that good stuff so i invite you to check it out the healing my candle just went out i think we should put a new one in there i think we should i like my i have my little owls to have ouchy i like my little owls to have their candle on here so let's do There we go. Now that's good. I'm happy now. Okay. Scorpio. Oh, looks like we got our card just dropped right out. Let's see what we have here with this Munash. Interesting. Same card we just had. For Libra, your commitment is being tested. <sighs> Interesting. Your commitment is being tested. What happened in this Stargate, Scorpio? What came in and kind of rocked your world? What did you discover? What did you, what came in to your, your awareness? So I'm seeing not only is this your commitment being tested, but your very, um, stability, what you know to be true is kind of like what's going on, um, you thought you knew some stuff, but maybe you don't, maybe you were wrong. You're realizing that maybe you've you're seeing where you've where you've I'm seeing like quick trigger kind of stuff like like without even seeing everything it's just 
reaction, reaction, reaction. And now I feel like there's some contemplation taking shape over those reactions. And what's being tested is your ability to accept what transpired. We have Metatron's cube here, the all and the Akashic. So this is definitely very powerful energy wanting you to dig deep and move past this whatever this was you need to forgive yourself you need to um not be so preoccupied about um how maybe other people saw or see the situation or you. This is about you and you. <laughs> this is about being real with yourself um, and, and your um, sorry and your your ability or inability to acknowledge your own feelings and reasons for behaving or thinking or feeling the way that you do or the way that you did and how I can really work my 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 phone I swear um yeah so let's get into it here with Metatron's cube, the all and the Akashic records. Every cell within my body has now awakened to the sacred geometry that has lay dormant within me. I can ask, access the Akashic re records of ancient civilizations. This pattern is one of the most important in the entire universe. It holds within it the map or blueprint. Excuse me. I always yawn big time when the Metatron's cube comes up. It's just, it's a psychic thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, within this geometry are all five platonic solids. It has been drawn today as you are ready to activate the sacred geometry that lies deep within your cells. It is time to delve into the sacred knowings of the ancient civilizations and the Akashic records to create the energetic shifts that will allow you to enhance your life path and all who cross your path. Sacred geometry. When we add 78 lines to the fruit of life, we are bringing in the masculine energy as lines are male and female, spheres or circles are female. It is a complex weaving of information systems by joining up and connecting each of the spheres with straight lines, we end up with Metatron's cube. Within this pattern, we are bringing together duality, male and female, yin and yang. Metatron is an archangel in charge of the world. Metatron was one of two human prophets who was rewarded with ascension into the archangel realm. As he was so devout to his faith, the other is Sandalphon. Practical application. Metatron holds the key to all sacred geometry and its underlying wisdoms, the Akashic records, and ultimately the all. You can call upon him as your teacher and use it as a gateway to learning more about the hidden esoteric knowledge that lies within Metatron's cube through its complex weaving of informational systems and pertinent lines. Metatron can also be called upon when you're in need of some healing and clearing. Remember, the cube holds all, all five platonic solids from which all life forms are created. They are the building blocks of life found within everything. Our awakening is imminent to survive the ever-changing shifts and vibrations of our planet. 
<laughs> our yearning to learn and know is expanding as the recognition deep within us starts to reignite. Card numerology is three and crystal suggestions are any set of platonic solids, crystal merkaba, um, danborite, and morganite. Okay, so yeah, what came through here is Dear Scorpio is the need to accept and understand your place in the universe, your place in your life, your place in your neighborhood, <laughs> your place. Um, what's needed is um, to let go of the past, I'm hearing. Ooh. Forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself first. And there's definitely healing and clearing of energy that needs to take place. And Metatron, his cube, sacred geometry, inner knowing, um, releasement is definitely something that needs to happen um really really connecting with gaia mother earth is necessary like if you can get in your car and find a place in the desert or by the beach or in the mountains where there's you know it's not around people and you can just really connect with gaia um, or work with people who are very connected with her to help connect you. I'm one of those people, by the way. I channel her. She works with me in all of my healings. I highly recommend, um, you know, just being guided to Gaia, to her inner knowing. Please check out my latest. All of my meditations feature her front and foremost. She's the one who really works with us designing um, our meditation. My meditation. Whoa, kitty. <laughs> That's gypsy. Um, animals, animal connections. Uh, whoa. Again, this car keeps coming. Speaking to light workers here, the mystic card. This card, I think, has come up now three times. Interesting. I'm kind of feeling like. You may be, it's almost like you got sucked into a vortex where you got popped out into a different world and you're like, what happened? And this could be from a while ago and it just lasted a long time and you just never could really get your balance straight because it was so overwhelming. This could have to do with somebody that really is this and really kind of took you into a new realm of seeing, living, believing, knowing, understanding, seeking, and you were, and because you're also this, that you, you know, just, it, it just, like I said, the vortex, this strong Metatron cube energy with this mystic um, they're very similar in the way that they look even, if you can see that. If it doesn't pop for you, it doesn't pop for you, but I see real similarities here with the lines. Um, third eye. Akashic records, past lives, connections to soul, soul family, soulmates, you not being able to really handle the complexities of energies that were filtering through. So whatever fears, triggers, traumas that you had coming into this life, coming into this reality, coming into this time period, really got triggered in a way that 
I don't think you could have imagined. And they're continuing to be triggered, I'm hearing. <clears throat> a lot of clearing, a lot of healing, a lot of deep diving energetically. Cord cutting is in order to reset energies. Hey. Oh, there's our card. We need to balance again. Get in and this again is kind of like in a way that you've never been, I'm hearing. Like astral balancing astro, like really going into meditation really working with archangels with metatron really surrendering because it's been all about control all about like if if the sh chariot shows up here i wouldn't be surprised because i feel this like the need to control the chariot without being with wanting to be separate and not wanting to be one with it like in and out kind of thing no we got the magician which i believe is the same card that came out before with the sh with the mystic is the magician but it's all kind of blending together now we have archangel Razio with you are ready you have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical with the Magician card number one. So, to recap, we have your commitment is being tested with first quarter moon, Metatron's cube, the Mystic, and the Magician. So lots of very intense metaphysical spiritual energies coming in here um this magician and the mystic practically one in the same thing being told here really see these energies as very very similar here with the magician and the mystic this is about opening up to yourself, to the possibilities, to starting in a new way, to connecting to the divine, to accepting spiritual help and guidance. I feel like the occult, the dark stuff probably maybe has been more, and I'm not saying you're dark, I'm just saying that throughout your life it's probably been more about you know, your influence as far as spirituality or metaphysics and energy and, and beings of other types have been more like, what are ghosts? What are demons? What are, what's it to be possessed? What, are, what is, you know, a haunted house? What is, you know, like that sort of thing, like that's been your gateway um and it's really brought in a lot of darker type energies that can influence a, a natural magician mystic light worker away from the light and to really seeing and 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 kind of coming from that those darker energies that you just you know and and, and I'm seeing that your circumstances, your relationships possibly, you know, there, there could have been a lot of circumstances with um, mistrust, unfaithfulness, or, or um, you know, being um, addicted, having influences um, maybe with uh, alcohol or drugs, things like this, gambling, money issues possibly. And, and even though there's been like, you've been able to, Okay, had to stop in the video, so we're going to pick right up here, Scorpio. So what I'm seeing here is like, even though there's been like, you know, possibly this things, these things in your life, um, that you have been able to overcome a lot of that. But the sticky residue, the energy that's attached to that, so let's say you had a gambling problem, but you, you got over that, you stopped that, you're past that. 
but the fear, the anxiety, the very energy of that, of everything connected to it is still in your body. So same thing if you had a, um, a relationship with somebody that, that ended in a lot of grief or um, a situation that was very hurtful to you at some point in time or really brought up past hurts or abandonment issues or jealousy or anything like that. Like everything is amplified because there's so much power in you to manifest, to heal, to, to do alchemy, to change energy as a light worker, as a mystic, as somebody who is psychic, who does have a lot of power, a lot of psychic connection, a lot of healing abilities for yourself and others, even if you choose to tap into that, just you, just you working on yourself is going to help this. But, but I'm really feeling here with this Scorpio that this is about releasing the past, stepping into and acknowledging what's gone on and the vortex that you've been in this like snappy kind of energy that you've for the most part put, put yourself through I'm seeing. This like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, I can't, I won't, I will, I can't, like back and forth stuff is like boiling, like it's just so much. and. And it feels like over and over your commitment was being tested, your ability to, 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 to stay in it, to, to be a part of whatever this was, was just constantly being tested with your past issues, triggers, energies within the body that, that because of this whatever person, vortex, situation, circumstance that you that you got in alignment with. And I feel that it was very, um, you know, uh, soul mated, very kismet, very, you know, this is, this was not a circumstance that could really be avoided. It was meant to happen. You were meant to go through this transformational time. Um, but your like it's kind of like I'm really seeing that like you know the three the the monkeys I see here and and speak no evil kind of thing it's like all happening at the same time like I want to know I don't want to know I want to speak I don't want to speak I want to hear I don't want to hear like that sort of thing and that's what's been going on it's what's made things so unstable for you Scorpio that's made this magician energy feel like you've got it you don't you do you don't but you do, <laughs> you do, you clearly do. And it's time for that all to come together. Okay, my dear Scorpio, thank you so much for being here and receiving these messages. Um, I want you to know lastly that you are protected, you are guided, you are loved, and all you have to do is jump in with both feet, release the past, step into the new, and you'll see a whole new world start to unfold for you it's totally up to you okay guys but that said thank you so much for being here and i hope to see you here again soon bye for now